welcome to Lucy McKenzie. I'm a volunteer here at the shelter and we have a few different dogs and cats to look at today. We're gonna start off with tall, dark and handsome. This is Gabriel. He's a two-year-old long-haired shepherd and he's looking for someone who knows how to work with a high energy shepherd. Um, he's super smart, very energetic and he's a dog that's, want a cookie? He's a dog that's looking for a job to do. But this fellow here, right now, he's, um, we're working really hard on behavior, on helping him with his energy and anxiety. And that's one of the good things about Lucy McKenzie. Um, so often when animals come in, they don't just get veterinary care, but they get a lot of training and behavior care as well. And so as our staff starts to work with him and train with him, <laughs> you are not a lap dog. Has anyone mentioned that to you, Gabe? Hi, Gabe. Would you, oh, are you gonna go sniff? Good boy. But with Gabe here, just getting to know him, learn all of his fun quirks. Really, a belly rub? You're, yep. If you want some silly shepherd, this is the boy for you. Hi, hi. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Let's see if I can push. Are you a comfy being held? Oh, this is our big orange boy, Ronald. He is a love bug. Gorgeous, gorgeous big old tomcat head on him. Super affectionate, walks up to every stranger he meets. Loves to be pet, has this amazingly long, lean body. Um, he's one of the staff's favorite because he just loves to cuddle. And if you've never had a cuddly cat, they are life-changing to your blood pressure. This is a cat that works better than any blood pressure medication for just having a soothing, loving presence in your life. Um, he's about five years old, and he came in as a stray of all things. This is a cat who has loved people his entire life. I'm not sure how he lost his people. But he came in as a stray, you can see, and he's definitely recovering from his time as a stray, too. Um, before he came up for adoption, you know, he was in our back veterinary kennel, kennels for a number of weeks, working, you know, getting through ear infections, eye infections, from just being out on the street for so long. But he is a solid love bug, beautiful fellow. And, oh, yes, I see you. Oh, you make me feel so special. You do. You do. But no, everyone deserves to have, you know, to have someone love them unconditionally. And this is a cat that will make you feel cherished. Oh my gosh, look at you. He's just, just a ham. He's just a ham. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see why everyone loves you at the He's shelter. Sweet, isn't he? Oh yeah. So sweet. <laughs> And we have a number of sweet, affectionate cats we can look at today, too. And we also have a few cats that if you're looking for, you know, more of a loner, we have a couple of good barn cats. Um, if you're looking for a good mouser out in the barn, uh, we have some, some cats that definitely are not a love bug like you, Ronald, but just looking for a good independent life, too. So we have all the gamut of personalities here at Lucy McKenzie. Hi. Everybody, this is Jake. He's a good middle-aged boy. He is not tall, dark, and handsome, but he is cute and adorable. Jake here has come back to the shelter after a few years in a fabulous loving home. Like so many dogs looking for new homes and cats here at the shelter. Um, his owners couldn't find housing that would let them have a pet like Jake. And so he is just so well loved he's so affectionate he's a riot he's a silly boy if you're looking for a nice little beagle muck this is the boy for you um let's see things about him um oh um no cats he loves them too much so no cats with him um also no kids or no young kids um he is a beagle and he cross and he loves food um a little too much for small hands to be around food in him um, other dogs, pending introduction. Um, see if he can be a good friend with someone else too. But do you want to play? He is a hilariously energetic little fellow. He is the size that of my dog at home. Just a perfect size. 
lots of energy, lots of enthusiasm, and will not knock you off your feet in it all in all that love. Jake! What you got, handsome? What you got? Let me get you a toy. I can remember you, Jolly Ball level, Jake. Oh yeah, and you can just see having these big open spaces for the dogs to run in and play in. They love it so much. And that's a boo. Let's see if he gets it. Let's see if he gets the poo zoomies. No, a dog that poos outside? That's just a wonderful sign of being housebroken. Oh yeah, you tell it. You're just so cute. You're just so cute. Hey Jake, you want a toy? Hi, hi. What are you thinking about toy? A toy? Yeah? Oh, no, no, go say hi to the camera. <laughs> but no, I mean, this is just a dog that is an easy pup to add to your life. And just, you know, we were talking earlier. It is amazing how these energetic dogs can make you laugh so much so much quirky personality you're a good boy are you ready go get it oh get the snake mountain goat oh. <laughs> oh there's a toy you just had to find the right one huh oh, yeah oh look at that slow proud walk look at that slow proud walk Hey, Mister, you want to try a tennis ball? I can't remember if you like tennis. Hey, Jake. Brr, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, that's because everything needs pee. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's saying this way. So, oh, that's a silly boy. There are kittens at the shelter. We have four black kittens, all about three months old, which means blatantly super adorable. And I'm looking at this little tuxedo right here. Let's see, you would show off those amazing white whiskers. And it's so fun. Everyone always says puppies have such big paws, but kittens are all paws and whiskers. There you are, you are so cute. But these kittens all came from other shelters. So just spreading some kittens out, helping to find some first homes for these little ones. But my neighbor just brought a kitten home and it's so fun watching just the look of love on his face as you fall in love with just these tiny little creatures. Oh, you are just adorable today. Yes, you are. And if you've never had just the, just the fun of watching a young animal grow right before your eyes. It's just such a sweet thing to bring home a little one like you. Yes. Watch their personalities come out. And oh my goodness, the personalities on cats. It's all over the place. From curious to playful. Who their favorite people are in the house. You name it. You really like my bird, my feather toy, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and I think all your little mates are sleeping. Do they just eat? Oh my gosh, and watching a kitten fall, fall into a food coma is hilarious. <laughs> their bellies expand so big as they eat and then they're out for the count, sleeping away. Oh, you are so gentle. So yeah. three siblings in here? Um, we actually have two sets of two siblings in here. In here? Yeah. Okay. All being adopted separately. Um, they're just young, young little creatures here. Uh, let's see you. And Ziggle, she's just a few years old. We don't have much information on her because she came from another shelter. Um, there are so many wonderful shelters across Vermont and New Hampshire. And often as one shelter gets an influx of animals, they'll work together across the state 
to spread out those animals, give them more of a chance for adoption, and you know, share some of that capacity too. She's also a cat that, oh my goodness, she has not met a stranger. She will not pull into her range. But the sweet, affectionate, leggy girl, this beautiful dusty gray, just a hint of tiger in her. And one big white foot. <laughs> I know, yeah. look at those big feet, look at those big feet. But again, it's just amazing to see so many affectionate cats at the shelter at one time. Um, but cats are like people. Most of them are not extroverts, but introverts looking for someone to love. But we have a lot of extroverts in house right now. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, sweetie. You going up? Go up. Go up. He's at the back, too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No, and it's so fun watching them. All of the cat setups at the shelter, giving lots of variety, lots of structure, things to rub and sniff, scratch and climb on, and lots of hidey holes for napping, which are all the ingredients for happiness when it comes to a cat. Oh, and of course, lots of petting Ziggy Beagles. <laughs> Should we go get our caterpillar out? Mm -hmm. Neighbor? Um, yeah. they have her about four years. Four? Okay. Yeah. She's very fit and young. Yeah, yeah. And she's, you know, that slim little cat. She's never gonna make your legs fall asleep sleeping in your lap. Oh, and down she goes. Look at you. <laughs> look at that little. Look at that little white spot right on her muzzle. This is Paisley, and this is a girl that has brought so much happiness to people's lives. The reason she's here is because her owner lost housing. Um, she was living in a tent with her owner, and, you know, it's really hard to make that decision to surrender your pet. Um, because, because she was in such hard times, you know, she came in and she needed so much veterinary care. Um, um, right now, she, you know, her main restriction, you know, her skin and her fur are in amazing condition. She's rebounded really fast with lots of food and love. Um, she's on a special food just for her skin as she recovers from all of that. But you can tell this is a cat that her people loved her so much. She's open. She's friendly. If you can live in a small space with a sweet cat like this, she will love everyone. But no, and like so many critters here, you know, she's not here because of any behavior problems she has. She's just here because her owner ran into hard times. Um, I definitely believe everyone deserves the love of a pet. And to make that sacrifice to surrender your critter so that someone else can, can take care of them, it's a really hard one because these are critters that, you know, they bring us daily joy. They bring us daily love. But oh my gosh, can you hear the purring on this girl? She's like a motorboat. Oh, what's that? <laughs> can you hear that? So if you've never had a cat that purrs at the drop of a hat or a pin, <laughs> this would be a great cat to bring home. Um, just that steady, steady rumble coming out of this gorgeous calico. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no, we have some really, again, some lovely cats here at the shelter. You know, from those young kittens to this old lady here that's just looking for love. So if you're looking to add a purring factory to your life, stop on by. This is just a handful of the cats we have at Lucy McKenzie. Um, but come and meet someone you love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. I've been chosen. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're so funny. You're so funny. Are you holding on to me? You're not going to let me go? Okay, fine. 